Hello everyone, um, I am Wesley Scott and right now I'm, uh, I'm just checking out all of the new updates on the Taken King. Uh, just picked this up this morning, I've already run a few uh, quick quest lines, but um, at this point I'm still going through uh, some kind of the new early... Um, uh, uh, Queen's Bounty quest lines from the Reef. Uh, just kind of seeing what's improved. I I've already gotten to level 38 really quick, like within a few hours. It was uh, surprisingly easy. Sorry, one moment. I'm just going to turn my sound down here a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, surprisingly easy how quickly uh, I was able to get up to 38. And uh, I actually like all the new improvements with light level, and um, I've already found a bunch of new equipment that outlevels pretty much everything I already had. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that all of this exotic and legendary armor and pretty much all of my exotic weapons are obsolete already. But, um, eh, whatever. It, it, it's a game about loot, right? So let's go find some good loot. I do like this new um, I do like this new quest display that they've put up here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna move my camera aside so that you can see it a little bit better. There we go. There we are, yeah, so that you can see that a little bit better. Um, now when I bring up my uh, ghost, I can actually check the quests that I currently have uh, tracked in this menu here, which is uh, nice. It's a feature that's really been needed since the beginning of Destiny, and I'm glad that they finally incorporated it. Uh, right now I'm actually just heading to um, some uh, discrete areas on uh, Venus. So I kill Taken Lieutenants with a firearm to summon champions, seek them out at the Shattered Coast Ishtar Cliffs and Ishtar Commons and the Citadel on Venus. So I'm kind of just running these patrols, trying to uh, get these champions to come out and then take them out. Uh, I also currently have a quest that I'm following specifically for the... Sunsinger class, um, where I have to kill mobs using either my grenade or my Sunsinger special or my Sunsinger melee. So, yeah, that's that's one of these. Uh, that's my that's the Slay Enemies quest that you see there. I've already got tw I've already got twenty out of fifty. Shattered Coast, one of the areas I could I could find these guys at. The, yeah, Shattered Coast. So I guess I'll just uh, run around on the Shattered Coast for a little bit, and we'll see what I run into. Uh, as far as the new story content is concerned, there um, has definitely been an improvement. Actually, I, I put up on Twitter earlier today. It was it was. Very unexpected, but there was a line from uh, Nathan Fillion's Cade early on in the story campaign that legitimately made me laugh, which I'm, I'm very happy about because one of the major things that Destiny has lacked for a very, very long time was um, uh, good writing. Not just a good story, because I really do believe that there is possibly an interesting plot going on here, but it, it's it's all obfuscated under just terrible, terrible writing, and um, that has clearly improved. Uh, it's still a little exposition heavy. It's still a lot of people 
just speaking exposition instead of speaking dialogue to one each other to each other a lot of uh, tell instead of show but um, it's definitely gotten better there's no doubt about that All these old, um, all these old bounties from, uh, that you can pick up during patrol still exist, still exactly the same, none of that has changed. Uh, I kind of wish that those things had become a little more dynamic. But... As I said before, everything has, ha, is taking a step in the right direction. And, well, I would say baby steps are acceptable, but we're $135 into a $60 product now to, to get some of these changes, which is a little annoying. I was about to say chests still don't return much, but I actually got an encrypted engram on that one, which I, I have yet I had yet to see, so not bad. One of the really neat things was for I don't know if it was just for year one players or not, but uh, one of the rewards that I got for the first time I went to the tower and actually uh, did this sort of victory lap where you talk to all the people in the tower and learn all the new things that they have was from uh, Rahul, Master Rahul, the, the Cryptarch. He gave me a green Ingram called a Deceptive Ingram that immediately gifted me this year one exotic Monte Carlo auto rifle, which I thought was a nice little joke at Bungie's expense, them basically saying, we know that the whole loot system has been screwed up and you've been decrypting green and blue engrams for the last year and getting nothing. So, hey, here's a green engram that is guaranteed to turn into something really cool. Uh, I liked that. That was, that was nice. Oh, looks like we have some, uh, some of the new Taken up here. It does at the moment look like the the, the Taken, the, the new mobs, are just a reskinning of the current of the the current models, uh, which is a little cheap, but nothing that we haven't come to expect from Destiny. And now, if there is a Taken lieutenant in this area, I need to try to take him out. That is part of this quest. Oh. Weird, doesn't look like there are. I guess I will just keep running this, uh... What on... Oh, right. I'll just, I'll just keep running this quick line here between the Shattered Coast and the Ishtar Cliffs, and with luck, I will run into some of these taken enemies.
doing a quick check on the on the audio. Since we're in this area where the uh, Volta Glass is, I, I'm, I'm very interested to see what they do with their new strikes, since obviously the, the Vault of Glass has been, hands down, the best piece of content that Bungie released for this game. If the whole game had been as uh, full-featured and nuanced as the Vault of Glass was, then there would never have been any problems. The, it is just a beautiful piece of content. I mean, and, and if they had a, a loot system that actually felt rewarding from the very beginning, that was something else. From uh, what I read today, though, supposedly the new loot system is supposed to uh, reward... I guess time invested. It, the new loot system is supposed to be more about the objectives you accomplish, the things that you do in the game instead of the luck that you have uh, rolling loot. That the very best gear is going to be obtained through quest lines and strikes and things like that, and will be obtained for sure by doing those things instead of just by accident. You know, you, you, you run the strike a bunch of times, you hope that you get the right roll. Instead of happening, instead of it happening that way, it will be uh, you complete this strike on this incredibly hard difficulty, you're going to be rewarded with a piece of really, really good gear. Which I'm all for. Taken yet. Let's head back to Ishtar, see what we run into. This is certainly still a feature of Destiny. A lot of going to and from places, a lot of uh, waiting around for things to happen. And a lot of negative space. There's still a lot of wasted space. Still don't appear to be any any taken minions here either. Well, if we don't get something soon, I will maybe move on to one of the story missions. Show off some of that. This is another interesting feature that has now uh, popped up. The gunsmith has his own experience system, nice his, his own I'll levels, the know we got it all. and they can be climbed by taking these test weapons out into the field and doing specific tasks with them. So this one, Suros prototype, use against high-ranking enemies to field data for the Suros research department. So. When I find Majors or Ultras, if I can kill them with this rocket launcher, it will give me experience that will then allow me to level up with the guns. Which is great. Everything should be a quest, really. They, they, they need to fill this game with stuff to do because there just is not enough. Get 
right, still not seeing any taken here. here either man when I was running this mission this afternoon or the earlier string in this quest this afternoon it did not take this long to see Taken show up on the planet Ishtar Commons, too. Let's try going to the Ishtar Commons, see what's over there. Add him away. Add him away! Star Commons, okay. See if there are any Taken out here. Doesn't look like it. Normally when the Taken appear, there's this uh, smoke that sort of covers the area. Guess while I'm here, I might as well try hunting down a, a big boss. A target causing problems in this area. Stand by for details. Clear out a little bit of this room before I move on. No time for you. Out of my way. Coming through. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Gonna make it, gonna make it, gonna make it, gonna make it, gonna make it. Oh, wait, what? Is he in that room? Oh, looks like my target is in this room and I didn't even see him. Oh, there he is. I got him. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Right. Level 40. What the heck? Okay. All right. Well, that was unexpected. I have yet to see a level 40 character of any kind in this game, so wow. I may not actually be able to do this. This Harpy's level 40 as well. Got him, though. 
Oh, whoop. Grenade. Not great. All right. I wish I had a partner with me right now. I'm supposed to uh, stream with Titus Link today, but I haven't heard from him, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, whatever. Alright, you know what? I'm going to abandon this because screw it, that's why. Hello again, buddy. All right, hopefully there will be some taken out here. Still nothing. This is getting pretty ridiculous. Oh, taken forces are corrupting the area. All right. What is that over here? It's gotta be back here, right? I'm still still on the Shattered Coast, so it's Shattered Coast. Alright, great. Let's do this. So these are the new Taken. As I said, they're really just kind of reskins. They look they 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 look a little different because they have this uh, weird kind of cosmic glimmer to them. Um, they supposedly also multiply very quickly, so if you don't eliminate them very quickly, you have the uh, possibility that you'll be overrun. See? They come out of these little portals very quickly. And right now, I need to find their captain, because if I can kill their captain, or uh, their lieutenant, then uh, one of their leaders will appear, one of their champions will appear, and then I can fight their champion. Which is what I'm supposed to do. Ah! That, there he is. Come on, Captain. Don't be such a puss. Let's do this, you and me. Showdown. Ha ha! Taken lieutenant. So there's a second lieutenant now. As soon as I can find him, we'll take him down. And if you don't do this fast enough, they will disappear again, which is a little annoying. Wouldn't really be destiny if it weren't a little annoying, though, so I can't, uh... I can't fault them for that, I suppose. No taken over here. The tenant doesn't appear to be over there. Ah, good. Looks like uh, King Crab 718 got him. So now hopefully their champion will appear and we can fight him. Oh, another captain. There was still one more. We got him, though. Good night. Alright, that should do it. Now where are you, champion? I've taken Zealot! Looks like he's probably up there.
Come on, jerk. Let's do it. Yeah, those uh those darkness glows that he throws are incredibly powerful. I've been caught in a couple of them and, and it's 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 not nice. See, he hit me with one. Got him. Come on. Fall. Give it up. There we go. And that's one down. back to Ishtar Cliffs and hope that they've shown up at the Ishtar Cliffs as well. Oh yay, daily, uh, daily public event here. Let's do this. I knew we'd get into this. Now, hopefully, the Taken will show up. Let's go on this kill order while while we're waiting. Guardians, the darkness is starting to rise in this area. Help push it back. There we go. Yeah, more taken. All right. Let's finish this up. Yeah, I already got the battle wreckage. Cool. Just need to take out these lieutenants and zealots. Or the zealot. So this is alright, the way that they've handled this is kind of like search and destroy mechanic that's going on. All right. I mean, no. it's pretty much the same sort of thing that was going on in House of Wolves with the um, tracking down the targets and, and the, the chests. There is no, like, chest at the end of this, obviously. But it is part of this uh, main quest line, so hopefully at the end of the full quest line there will be a nice piece of gear or something. 
Of course, that hope is kind of what all of Destiny is sold on. <laughs> Where are you? I haven't even seen one. These guys are just kind of taking care of him. I haven't even been able to get my hands on a lieutenant in this area yet. be on him over here. Probably not going to be able to take take this one down either. Ooh, Zealot arrives. Alright. Recovering. There we go. All right, it's rocket time. Oh. Yeah. So that darkness effect that it hits you with is interesting. I mean, it's definitely um, it's good feedback. It definitely intimidates you. Which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Here we go. Let's collect some of these engrams. I have noticed that en engrams, uh, both blue and green, seem to be a lot more plentiful. And I just saw that guy pick up a legendary, which was an incredibly rare events back before the 2.0 update in the Taken King. So maybe they have really done some tweaking to the uh, to the old loot system here, but let's head to let's head to Venus and turn in this quest. And move ahead from there. Outsider. You did. I'll take all the help I can get. Another piece of debris from a fighter this time. So many dead. 
know, I'm not going to read all of these. Uh, there's still a lot of writing with very little voice acted dialogue, which is un unfortunate. Take an assault, Mar. Oh. I wish I could give you more. What is this? Take an assault, Mars. Kill the so basically exactly exactly the same thing I just did. Except on Mars this time. Okay, all right. It's uh, it's supposed to be an MMO, right? That's MMOs are repetitive. That's okay. They don't make these at all. all right, so lots of new Bring me their rare equipment. Let's see if any of it was helpful. These helmets will almost certainly be. Yeah, what does what? What is discipline? Discipline decreases the cooldown time of your grenades. Yeah. Strength is cooldown time of melee ability, I believe. So I don't care about strength. I will take this helmet that gives me a huge discipline boost. Can't use that yet. You are no good. You I should definitely change into. Yeah, I like that light level is boosting really fast, too. I mean, I've gone... I want to say I was at like 141 when I started this morning. I'm now at 188. So it's giving you this good constant sense of progression, which is really nice. Okay, sticking with this scout rifle, it looks like. Improved handling, yep. Oh yeah, and my, uh, my little legendary ghost buddy here got a new... See what this does. Increase the intellect bonus provided by this piece of gear. Cool. Just need some spin metal. This is something else that, de that that Bungie desperately needs to add to this game, and I have no idea why they've done it, because it would seem to me to be a really simple little piece of coding, allowing me to use the materials that I have in my vault without removing them from the vault. Like, I don't understand why that isn't already in here. Um, it's just an annoying additional step that doesn't need to be there to get to, to actually go to my materials and pick them up in order to uh, to use them to upgrade my, my equipment. There we go. Standing by. Yeah, so let's throw some of this stuff into the vault. I don't, I don't know what reciprocal... I haven't been able to use a reciprocal rune yet. It looks like it is for the new Court of Oryx, and I haven't gotten to that. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll see that at some point tonight, though. I am authorized to transmit and receive bounties from the tower. Welcome. We're closing out. Let's see if maybe there's some bounties I can pick up. Confirming I think I pulled everything today. Yeah, I did. Goodbye. Okay, let's break some stuff down here. It kind of makes me sad, but I'm going to be breaking down pretty much all of my exotics and legendaries pretty soon. I know it, because they just don't... Unless I use them in the Crucible, and I don't play the Crucible that much, they're not going to be of any use. I mean, look at this. Like, my fully upgraded Thorn is 170, and I already have this Scouting Rifle at a 179 attack rating. But again, it's an MMO, or, a, or an ARPG, or an action RPG, so having to find new equipment in an expansion and I mean that 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 sense of progression is why you play so I, I really cannot fault them for, th for fault them for that 
at least they didn't reset all of the equipment like they did with uh with the dark below originally all right let's track this new quest i've already got it up still running the path of the sun singer okay let's head to mars Take a look at my bounties real quick. I don't even know what I have in here right now. Uh, ten Cabal. Kill ten Cabal Majors and Ultras. Okay, defeat 50 Cabal. That should happen in Mar on Mars, no problem. Generate 20 Orbs of Light. Uh, I'm, I may want to double that up with the Voidwalker path that I'm running where I have to do the same thing. Maybe, maybe I should just switch over to Voidwalker and try to finish that up. Cabal Majors and Ultras again. I have that, I have that twice, so hopefully we'll run into that here. Uh, Hive Majors and Ultras. Okay. Um, yeah, I think maybe I'll switch okay. over to Voidwalker and start trying to Nova Bomb the crap out of everything. Oh yeah, what areas do I have to patrol here? Um, seek them out at the Barrens, Scraplands, Hollows, Buried City, Valley of the Kings, and the... That's pretty much everything, isn't it? I feel like that's everywhere. So I guess I'm just going to go on patrol. Okay, open bounty in your neck of the woods. Make them regret it, guardians. Gotcha. Oh, heck no. Oh, you are gonna get a rocket. Oh. Ooh. Ha! Great. Alright, moving on. You had me, didn't you? All right, where's this target? There he is. Sit down. Oh, hello. Almost got my void bomb up. There we are. Now, where's this? this target there we go oh what Jesus Christ all right well oh oh no 
He's level 40. Lovely. Well, I might be able to take this guy since he's not a friggin' Centurion. We'll see. See you there. Got him. There we are. Ha! Good night, sunshine. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna head back out. Hopefully, run into some fallen. Or, I'm sorry, taken. Fallen, taken. Still using very basic terminology. Yeah, I didn't hit anyone with that last, uh, Nova Bomb. Or, no, wait a minute, I thought it was just supposed to generate orbs of light, right? That Nova Bomb should have created an orb- or, no, I guess- I guess the Nova Bomb only creates it if it hits something. Great, okay. Well, I've almost got another one ready, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this new symbol down here, this like little clock symbol, this is for, as a matter of fact, you know what, I was going to explain it to you because I really hate it, but I am doing a stream, so let's show you. This is a really silly Darling, new... I have a mission this this is, it seems like this was their answer to if people saying, hey, to endure, we want we Sparrow Races. And instead, they created this from the energy burst kind of ridiculous so thing where you... Where you dash between these energy bursts and try to quickly fill up this meter to 100%. Um, see, and like, look at this. This is... Yeah, this is a really, 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 not just boring, but ill-conceived, crappy little minigame that is neither fun or interesting or... Ugh. It just, it, it, it harkens back to the absolute worst that Destiny has had to offer since day one, and they really, really, really should have just scrapped it as an idea. I mean, I guess you could argue that, hey, it does give you something else to do, but, like, just giving, just giving me something to do, give, give me something actually worthwhile, you know? This is not... Yeah, it's like, this is this is literally just a time sink. It's just me running around the map, trying to get between these things with enough time left on the clock. Like, there we go. I have a full cycle of sensor Ugh. data ready for the tower. Thanks, Northbot. Guardians, something powerful lurks near this location. Mm -hmm. Watch the shadows. Well, this is going to be another level 40 boss type guy. I'm taking forces, alright. This is what I've been waiting for. Let's go find him. Target. Can I hit him? Get him. Come on! That was right on target! Ludicrous. Okay. Mop 
up this area, create an opening that maybe I can exploit. What is going on? I thought they were supposed to be taken around here. Did, were they... Maybe they showed up in the exterior right before I left. I'll head back and see if maybe they show up. Because I would rather be doing that than going after this level 40 asshole. No? I guess I must have I must have just missed them. Great. Well, then level 40 asshole is all I've got, so let's do that, I guess. It's moments like this that remind me why I hated Destiny for so long, and, and why in some ways I, I, I definitely still do. Yeah, great. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't just an annoying waste of time. That was a... Well-constructed, challenging bit of gameplay. Good lord. Like he, he's, he's not even letting the shield down or putting his arm up so that I can shoot it down. He's just... Exhausting. Exhausting bullet sponges. So maybe not as much as uh, has changed as I uh, as I anticipated. There we go. Great work. I Cora will be grateful. All right, back to looking for Taken. The only beacons in this area here for me to follow is a, uh, a scouting beacon, which just means that I go to a place and stand in that place, which is super boring. So I'm going to go see if I can find some other trouble. That's another boss kill order. I'm I'm pretty much done with those, so I'm not gonna go pick it up. Uh, let's move areas. See what I can find. Any taken here? Nope. Oh no, there are. Okay, there's it says there's a corrupt lieutenant. Sweet. So let's uh, let's hunker down here and help out these local guardians. What? You an invisible centurion? What the hell? I have yet to see that. Yeah, there's a cloaked. Centurion, what the hell? That was very weird. 
Maybe that's a new Taken enemy? I don't know, but it seems like giving Centurions cloaking on top of all of their their normal natural abilities, including their, their teleport, is just maybe a little much. Yeah, my god, look at that. Alright, this is getting ridiculous, missing with the void bombs. I'm sorry, I've been saying Centurion, I just realized that what I'm actually referring to is a Minotaur, not a Centurion. Did that just pass through him? Right. Hmm. All right, still have to take down another champion. It's in this area. More boss kill orders. No, thank you. Alright, I guess I can take on this uh, collection order over here maybe for a moment. Oh yeah, hey, more taken. Good. Let's finish this up and get moving. Where are you, Lieutenant? find this lieutenant pretty quick or they're gonna leave. Where is he? Hey. What on earth? Where is this lieutenant? Not up here. Not over there. Oh, 
Wait, yeah, looks like I may have them. Maybe? Yeah, that's him. Jeez. Yeah, what is this cloaked minotaur thing? No? Ah, good. That was a lieutenant. Got him. All right. On track. Oh, there's another one. seen any more messages about the Taken. I don't like this. Oh, did they clear out? Okay. Fine. Yeah, there's still a, uh... A lot of traversal, a lot of waiting around for things to happen. Let's see, we got a bunch of guardians hun hunkered down in this area. It looks like maybe... We've got more taken here. Hmm. Maybe not. My apologies, I know this isn't making for the most riveting watching right now, but it doesn't make for the most riveting gameplay, which uh, is, you know, kind of a shot against it. Nope, no taken in this area. Okay, you know what? I am going to bench this for now. I'm going to head out on the Storm Caller subquest for the uh, for the Warlock to hopefully pick up my new uh, my new subclass because maybe Bungie thought that that quest line that they built what is supposed to be sort of done over time as you go on patrols and stuff, but I, I, I wish it could be com I wish it could be like focused on and completed a little faster than that. So Spark in the Shadow, let's check this out. The Stormcaller's Path. I'm kind of excited about this one because it looks like it's all being set up by uh, Nathan Fillion. And so far his voice work has been awesome.
What does it mean to be a warlock? Power. Only warlocks understand true power. True power lies in knowledge, in understanding. Power channeled, not controlled. The storm is raw power. The trance is true understanding. Both are required. The storm caller then is both the question and the answer, and thus what it means to be a warlock. As I said earlier, there's still a lot of expositing going on, a lot of characters talking about things, big concepts and things, instead of talking to each other, uh, which is unfortunate. But uh, the, there's no doubt that it's all improved. My hidden agents discovered a powerful vex, a conductive mind below the bones of. Hey, Kevin, old. how you doing, man? It has the arc source you need. Find it. Oop. Won't be easy. The freehold tunnels are still crawling with vex. Good. Storms emerge from conflict. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone has this shirt now. Have you been lurking for a little bit? I, I've, no, I've noticed uh, noticed a, a viewer or two in here for a while. Gotcha. Don't shy from the darkness, Guardian. Totally fine, by the way. I, I, I just appreciate the viewership. Oop. quick I've been having trouble hitting with these stupid Nova bombs so I'm gonna tweak this just a little bit so my Nova bombs start tracking people because I'm tired of missing I do like that there's a little more uh, back and forth between, like, you, you hear uh, you hear what used to be Dinglebot and what is now Northbot talking with uh, Ikora Ray, um, or Cade, or whoever the, whoever the other guy is. Um, like in the House of Wolves, they're, they're beginning to have a little bit of dialogue in mission between them. Which is nice. It's better than just uh, Northbot talking directly at you in sort of like cryptic terminology and stuff that, that doesn't really mean anything. There we go. One orb of light. <laughs> one step closer to that warlock quest. And only one. Oh. Hobgoblin. Good. 
you, and you. You and me now. There we go. Ikora, those constructs were supercharged with arc energy. The whole area is saturated with power. Find the conductive mind. You're not finished until its arc is yours. Super is ready. Okay. Come some more orbs. Oh god. Uh, I'm not normally this bad at using Nova Bomb, I swear. Created one orb of light so far. Great. Who's next? Still using these portals. So this mission so far, I just realized, has been almost identical to one that was run in the original Destiny campaign. That is... Wow, like that is some real recycling. I mean, it's not even run in reverse or sideways or there's, there's, there's no new content added. It's this exact same map being run in this order. With these enemies, like the Vex and everything. Okay, I'm going to hit something with my Nova Bomb Unless this time. Oh my god. I think that's the conductive mind. Hmm. So, I'll wait until that shield goes by and then I'm gonna hit him with my Nova Bomb because how could I miss him, right? Right? Aha! Got him! Mm -hmm. Okay, that pillar will protect me, yeah? Oof. Great, it seems like there is something behind me as well. Yep, Axis Minotaur probably keeping me from camping that hallway. All right. Let's uh, reconvene here, figure out exactly. Yep, there we go. E grenade. I'm 
definitely need a better angle on this thing. Oh, hey. You got a better angle on me instead. Okay. I think I've got him dead to rights, though. Maybe just give him a couple, couple of the old rockets. Good old rockets. Oh, I think he might be teleporting yet. That seems to have done it. My core, we've neutralized the conducted mine. Then I hope you've learned from its defeat. Let's teach you to wield lightning, Guardian. Yeah, sure. I will, uh, I will totally take some lightning, Akora. Oh god, they're still doing this thing where the countdown goes from like 30 when you when you end the level all right moving on Is it going to take me straight to the tower? Mars. The Vex crawl across her surface, taking seeking me... out rare arc storms. It's weird that it's sending me straight to Mars. Their power like hot springs. We have located one on the far frontier. If you are to call the storm to learn the trance, you must go. And let nothing stand against you. Ah, I guess once I'm inside this quest line, I'm in this quest line. So, Okay. I mean that's nice. It does save me a little time having to select these planets myself. Find a space to clear your mind, Guardian. This is how a stormcrawler begins. Pretty neat, these storm effects. I, I don't even really recognize this area from Mars. I'm wondering if this is. It's actually keeping. I'm, I'm assuming this has to be recycled, but. I don't know where I've seen it before. Ah, it's a multiplayer map. I forget what this one is called, but this is... They're using a multiplayer map to create this moment. Okay, all right. So they're still reusing assets, but they are using them in... Uh, I, I, I can't. I can't even give them credit for that. That's... I mean, it's still a reused asset. Here we go. Man, this this warlock can meditate while shooting a gun. That is not easy. Good. The storm is aware of you, but you need its loyalty. Do it again. Oh, 
Jeez. Just teleported in on top of me. It teleported a Minotaur on top of me. What the hell? The storm begins to obey. Once more, Guardian. Because it wouldn't be a video game if we didn't do it in threes, right? walks its own path. A show of force is in order. Call <laughs> the lightning and become one. You will either rise a storm caller or not at all. Call the lightning, eh? How am I gonna do that? Just my super? No? Oh, okay. I guess I'm still following the marker. An actual cutscene, cool. Storm caller rises. Cool. New subclass. Let's turn our attention to the Vex. They're here for the Ark. Show them the Ark. Okay, that. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, that that is pretty sweet. I'll give you that one, Bungie. That, uh... Becoming a, uh... An Emperor Palpatine, like, lightning bolt slinging force of nature. That is really cool. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty sweet. Okay, yeah, I'm all about this. This is this is Stormcaller is probably going to be my class from here on out. Well, not from here on out. I'm going to be switching around to finish up the quests, but when I'm uh, when I'm just playing for me, this is definitely what I'm going to be using. That is so awesome. <laughs> I wonder just how effective that is going to be in PvP, though, considering that players tend to not clump together too often. I mean, I guess as effective as, as Void Bomb would be, but um, I guess a little more controlled and directional. That is friggin' sweet! Suck it! 
it. There we go. None stand against you, and the wind is at your back. You are a storm caller, hmm. and you wear the mantle well. It turned into Star Wars for a second the storm there. Is both an answer and a now it's going to go back to being Destiny. As you carry your spark from this place, remember this. And teach this lesson to those that would drag you from the skies. I guess I can give him some credit for the recycled uh, asset. That map, at least they did. Um, they did end up like creating that cool storm effect and the lightning and stuff. They they put that in. <laughs> I think you're pretty much. I think everyone's kind of a, of that opinion. Are you are you excited for seven though, Kevin? Or, or like, are you waiting for that one? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely interested to uh to go and see it. I'm since episodes 1 to 3 happened, 7 I'm <laughs> 7 was uh I'm 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 kind of um I don't really have any expectations going in, which I'm very happy happy about. I have a feeling that if I go into this new one with no expectations whatsoever, I'm gonna love it. But if if I, you know, if I if if I'm going in going, man, I really hope it's better than than you know five and six episodes five and six. I'll probably just end up disappointed. So, yeah, I'm in a good place for it right now. I think. Just gonna head back to the tower here real quick and maybe finish out this quest line and then I think maybe I'll spend the last half hour taking a look at Mayhem mode in uh, in the Crucible because I haven't done that yet and uh, I hear it's pretty crazy. Come on, Cryptarch, give me something good. Eh. Trash, trash. That's all trash. that be keeping a hold of that still got to try to grind my way through the uh through this soros no to both of you Increases to... no, don't need strength. Alright, I'm going to stick with Voidwalker. I'm actually going to use my Obsidian Mind in the Crucible because it should... With his Mayhem mode, it should allow my uh, Void Bombs to pop up even faster than normal. You've heard then what happened to the awoken. The 
power of an arc storm surges at your fingertips. Ooh. I can feel it. All right, that's actually useful. I'll take that storm caller's bond. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna go grab some crucible bounties too. Cause why the heck not? That's all we got. You want to know what is coming? That is something they seem to have changed for the better. The crucible bounties seem to be much easier to complete, and you can actually get through in a few quick play sessions instead of having to keep them around for days sometimes if if you don't play a lot of crucible. Checking. Confirmed. During a single radiance use, I'm not gonna be using radiance, so no. Defend an allied runner? No, because I think these are for... Well, does a runner score at least one distance bonus tier? Yeah, I'm not going to be in a fire team. Well, why not? Let's take that. Maybe I'll do some do some work on, on Radiance while I'm in there. Uh, defend an allied runner as a runner. Nah, I'm just going to do Mayhem mode, so I'm going to skip those. Frankly, Mayhem mode is what I've been most excited for in the Crucible because um, I'm not big on adversarial multiplayer at all. And Mayhem looks like it's just a lot of fun. Uh, where your, your supers kind of show up uh, within a couple of seconds instead of you know, taking up to a minute. So let's check that out real quick. No. Skirmish, salvage, rumble. Wait, where is it? Classic 66, classic free for all. Is it not here? Skirmish, clash. Control, it is not here. What? Maybe I have to play all this stuff to unlock it? Okay, well, in that case, I've already done Rift and Control. I guess let's do a round in Clash. Um, I'm going to use some of my more advanced equipment here. Let's use Thorn. And... Chris will gather data from once. No. Sniper. Oh, yeah, let's take the fusion rifle. And I will take my... Which of these has the highest velocity? Yeah, it looks like you. Okay. Heading in. Come on, hurry it up, Bungie. There we go.
at last. Clash. Alpha Team. Work together, and you All might right. survive. Here we go. Time to watch me get wrecked. Hey, I got someone. Oh, about to lose it. Okay. Two against one. Unfair. Oh, wow. They got people cannons now. There we go. Nice. Ah. Almost had him. Hey, what's this? Teleporter? Yeah! Follow this guy. You and me, buddy. Let's do this together. Go team! on behind me but I didn't want to turn around got him ha <laughs> saga That guy's going around the left, maybe. Oh, we got someone crawling in behind us. Got him. Heavy ammo inbound. Very nice. Yeah, let's dominate this heavy ammo. Ah. Come on, guys, get that heavy ammo. Don't let him take you. <laughs> oh, got someone behind me. Oh, I don't like this at all. This guy knows where I am. I know where he is. I'm so scared. Shit. Ah, so close. Pretty evenly matched game that we're in right now. Ugh. 
And I am not doing half bad. I mean, I'm not doing particularly well, but I'm, I'm, I'm not doing half bad. Got him. our enemy going up the people mover kill. Ah. <laughs> so close I almost came out of that one alive my supers already Feeling that this guy probably, yeah, they know I'm here. That's fine. Heavy ammo on the way. Fucker. Ah. Uh, yeah. Heavy ammo available. Damn it. Well, blew himself up, so. Hoist by his own petard. I feel pretty good about that. Give me a Five nice cluster of targets that I can use my Nova Bomb on. Damn it. Man, they were all over the place. Victory imminent. <sighs> I don't know that it's so eminent yet. They're, they're doing just fine. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, come on! The Nova Bomb stops my. Uh. You're falling behind. is not a challenge to be taken lightly. Holy crap, they came back right at the end. Well, damn it. I blame myself. Oh, a couple of strange coins, not bad. All right, I'm going to leave this game type, and you know what I'm thinking? I'm hoping that Mayhem is one of these two other game types up top. And maybe I just got to play this, uh, whatever this center game type is, and it will... It'll open up whatever's over here. So, Elimination. Give it a try.
elimination. Okay, so this is three Bravo on team. three, it looks like, and wipe out the enemy team. It's like SWAT. Well, probably not like SWAT. It's probably not one shot, one kill, but it probably is one life. Guardian. Damn it. Oh well. This is definitely not going to be my game type. Way time. too much pressure. Your team is behind. Really? <laughs> One game. I know we're behind. Did you? Were you afraid that I forgot that we just lost that round? Got him! Got him! Come on! We got him! Two down. Did we get him? No? Yes? Yeah! Good job, guys. Go team. Enemy team eliminated. I was wondering... Oh, one of them must have had Radiance. Hmm. The match is tied. What? Oh, come on. How did he... Okay. Eliminated. That's a shame. So I wonder how many rounds this is. Let's see. Five, maybe? The team is behind. I think that five would probably be a good number. Great. Oh, they can actually be revived. Okay. Great. So they're probably going to sit on their bodies and hope... And I just kind of run over there, which I am not going to do. Let's see if I can be sneaky about this. Probably not, but we'll see anyway. Well, got one of them. That's nice. See if the others come to collect him. Yep. Oh man. Ah uh, well. Your team was eliminated. Yeah, I know. Heavy ammo on the way. Like how my team is just going with the same strategy that gets them killed each time. Heavy ammo available. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, can it be over now? Because I am done with this. No, of course it can't. We're probably going to have to run like 10, 15 rounds of this. Alright, sneaky, sneaky. Guys, stop doing a mad dash to the left. It's not helping. Oh, great. Yeah. Ugh. The team was eliminated. How is he building up his super so fast? All right, awesome. We're done with that. So let's see, I'm hoping it opened up Mayhem. That's all I want to do right now is play Mayhem. Nope. Yeah, so I don't even know where the Mayhem playlist is or when it will show up. Hmm. Well, either way, I think I'm going to call it quits for the evening. Uh... I appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks again for supporting me, Kevin. I, I, I appreciate you being here. And um, yeah, that's the Taking King so far. I, I will probably be in and out streaming this for the next week or so. I am going to try to get through this for review, and uh, maybe I'll even be able to get Titus Link involved next time. I, I don't know where he is. I, I haven't heard from him all day, but um, it's his birthday. If you do know Titus Link, stop by uh, his Twitter or... Stop by his uh, his Twitch and uh, say say happy birthday to him. Okay, all right. You have a, you uh, have a good evening, everyone. Thanks for stopping by.